Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you how to create a live vocal effects chain in FL Studio. Um, the reason why uh, this this uh, uh, tutorial is so important is because it will actually allow you to uh, give your 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 artist or the person that is recording you know some some feel to what they are actually recording while you record and this is not going to affect the main recording you're doing that your 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 recording is not going to affect it it's just going to give them the feel of a bit a bit of the feel of, of, of your mixing so let's go into this video right away and it's going to be while they sing they hear their self so um first we are going to name we are going to load uh i'm going to be using my own vocal uh preset so if you have a vocal preset this might be easy for you but if you don't have you could create one so as you can see i will just load a vocal preset it's loading so while i have my vocal preset i will just name this uh track to boss one change to just boss okay let's just name it to boss and change the color and accept it so it's done so this is our uh, boss so the next thing i'll be doing let's uh i'm going to select the track that i'll be arming it uh with my recording so what i will do is just to come here and right click here and route to this track only so while i route to this track only it means that whatever is here is going to come to this bus before it goes to the master uh bus or the master channel or whatever it is you call it so this here is going to be where i will be loading my um i'll be i'll be arming my track so i will choose uh, the mic input as mic input one as you can see it's showing me mic input one as i'm as and as i am talking this is practically taking it to this bus before it comes back to the master channel that is whatever i say here is going to come here and all these plugins here loaded all these presets all the work i did here is going to affect the vocal that is coming in but trust me while you are recording it is not going to affect uh, those effects are not going to affect whatever wave you are recording here that's the raw vocals you're recording here is just to give the artist while they sing uh, a live feel to understand and to hear the self live while you record so another thing to do is uh, actually to come to this boss channel okay we are going to select uh, uh, an uh, FX ch uh, boss channel FX channel let's name this FX FX1 or let's say reverb reverb just reverb and uh, change the color to green and this so this is our boss channel where the uh, main effects are so we'll route it to to the FX channel just click it this way uh, and you could also do same thing with your delay but for now we are going to be for time for purposes of time we are going to use only reverb so you can load it you can load a reverb on the reverb channel so this is our reverb and while we load the river let's use a preset to see how it goes okay so listening to it um this is it so uh, you could actually play with the reverb and reduce or whatever you want to reduce and do whatever so now when you come here and uh, you want to record for example you hit the recording okay 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 our recording our our our, our amped track is on uh, insert 2 as you can see i change it to insert 2 so while you hit recording and you hit uh, you start recording it will actually as you can see it is recording uh, it is actually recording my vocal as you can see it has recorded my vocal so while uh the artist is actually recording you would hear a lot uh the artist will be hearing their self live with all the effects you've actually put so that it will allow them to understand to hear the live uh uh, uh the live uh or, or the, to hear it live while they are recording it all depends some artists may not want it but some may want it and this is also actually going to help you when maybe you have a, a live recording session you want to actually record uh it all depends on what you want so this is actually 
what I am trying to show you. So if you record this, as you can see, maybe you might not be hearing me because I need to, uh, because of my interface, before you hear what is actually going on, I had to change uh, my uh, drivers to a different uh, driver before you, you could hear me because of the interface I'm using. So you can't actually hear uh, the live, uh, uh, whatever I'm seeing right now, live from this. Okay. So I'm just trying to show you a bit of uh, how to set up uh, live recording, uh, especially for recording your artists so that they could hear whatever. And you could actually use this thing, uh, you, you could actually use this too for, let's say, rehearsals for artists who want to really rehearse and hear themselves. This is just practically what you need to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.